Hey my white babies, what is up? It's your girl Caseway and I am back with another YouTube video. Don't know me. No way, is that Casey Way? Oh. Sorry, cute intro. No way, that's Casey Way. Alright y'all, so today's video, I'm actually super, super, super excited. Like y'all can tell I'm all cheesy. <laughs> I'm so excited to film this video because like I never thought I was going to be here in this part of my skincare journey. Like y'all, it's actually crazy. I wrote down a few points that I want to speak about so I don't be rambling this whole video. So first of all, let's take a pause real quick and look at my case y'all. Look, I am a child of God, faith of a fear, period. And it's pink y'all, it's so pretty. I literally got this. I got the case, two screen protectors, two camera covers, and it came with little stickers. They were so cute. Not these, but it was some other stickers for $9 off Amazon, y'all. I'm going to get in the description just for a little free promo for them because, y'all, so good. So, first thing we're going to start with talking about is my skincare, like, history. Like, I don't know what to call it. The way you act. It's the way you act. Act. I have struggled with acne since like a kid like literally y'all I promised in elementary third grade I remember me having like bumps on my face and I thought it was because well because I do have eczema so I thought it was because you know eczema got little bumps or whatever but then I started seeing a little white stuff in it I'm like mama what is that she's like oh baby you got a pimple so um yeah I would get like breakouts on my cheeks um really it was really more so like on my cheeks y'all third grade mind you third grade i didn't even have my period yet like how did it work third grade y'all i had bumps i used to get like pimples on my forehead like we thought the root of the problem was me just not washing my face after i'd be playing outside y'all because i was a rough kid i was outside me and my cousins we stayed outside i'm thinking like okay maybe it's because i'm not washing my face because like yeah I'm a, I'm a kid i'm not sitting there doing a the whole skincare routine nothing like that fast forward into middle school and that's when you know you know like you just start to explore more of who you are you know you got your boyfriends you got your regular friends you try to figure out where you fit in so that whole situation was going on and i was struggling with acne so bad y'all i had pimples everywhere like on my cheeks on my chin on my neck forehead not all at the same time it was never like cystic acne which is something that's like this definitely like blackheads under my eyes like in my skin pimples just all that type of stuff there's no way my camera is about to die so um I would always get that little decline in my confidence because I'm like dang like don't nobody want no girlfriend with no bumpy rocky road face y'all like I remember this boy he told me he was like your face is like a bowl of oatmeal <laughs> They was getting on me. This is one boy in particular. I will not say his name because like we low-key so cool to this day. He used to get on me like he'd be like, oh Casey, I don't know. She got too many bumps on her face. You got too many bumps. You would be fine if you didn't have all them bumps. I'm just like, get the bumps. Bro, it was it was wild. So it definitely caused me to have a decline in my appearance. Snapchat and stuff came out when the filters came out. Oh baby, I was a filter queen. Anything I was I would slap on a filter to make my skin look smooth, to make it look, you know, not bumpy, not pimply. So, I would say 7th grade, 8th grade ish is where I definitely started to get into skincare like deep. I would be on YouTube. Oh my god, it's so sad. I would be on YouTube, y'all, literally looking up how to make my skin clear, how to get rid of blackheads, how to get rid of this, how to get rid of that. And so, that's when they had like the Neutrogena face wash apricot face scrub like then we had the shea moisture african black soap so many things i bought and i wasted my money because it literally made my skin 10 times worse <laughs> yeah it was crazy because i'm like bro like i would have peaks throughout the year like oh my god my skin looks really really good right now we'll go back to what it was doing and these Routines I made for myself. I basically used to piece a whole bunch of the information that I got from all these other people And I'll just like mush it together and kind of make my own little concoction or whatever So this is the cactus and cowberry mask uh, We about to peel this mud flip raw and 
time to wash my face. Yeah, like it, 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 it was real, it was real bad. So, 2020, I discovered Hir skincare by Hiram or Hiram, whatever his name is. And that's when I started to see stuff about the ordinary, all these different serums. And um, that's when unemployment was hitting. I mean, I was rich, baby. I'm like 17 years old with like $8,000, like just sitting there. Baby, I'm spending that bread. I'm over here buying like Paula's Choice. The Ordinary, CeraVe, the Salicylic Acid um, Face Wash. I'm buying all this stuff because he's like, okay, you need niacinamide. You need this. You need hyaluron. Hi, hi. You need that. Whatever he said, I need it. I was getting because I'm like, okay, baby, you know what you're talking about. Like, you know, I start my skincare and it was the most depressing time of my life because not only did this stuff make my skin worse, but it was show me little peaks and parts where I'm like oh my god my skin looks really good and then the next day I see like literally my skin was purging and you know your skin it do go through a series of purging if you start to use different chemical products your skin's gonna start to react of course because it's new it's like hey, what's going on why are you why are you putting on this on me and so my skin was purging but it started to purge to the point to where it would not stop I'm over here putting all these chemicals and all this wash onto stuff that is like seeped into my pores over years and years and years because it has not been treated it has not been extracted um yeah that was that was a very very interesting time i'll show y'all some pictures not, it's just like a little tingle and it's like annoying though so it's like it don't burn but it's like it's july 30th uh and my face is itching but um yeah this is my skin hold on let me get this hair on my face um, I started on the 17th. This is July 30th. And I'm getting some breakouts. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, I messed up my skin very, very, very bad. Um, I didn't get any, like, burns or nothing like that. I just know that my pimples, my breakouts and stuff, it was becoming very, very, very severe. And it wasn't, like, stuff from the undersurface coming out to the surface. It was, like new pimples are being created and I just was not down for that. After I stopped that, that's whenever I got introduced to Curology. <laughs> and it was bad. It was horrible actually. At the end of 2020, that's when I decided to sign up for Curology. Curology ain't do nothing for my skin. It did absolutely nothing. I was paying $60 a month for the subscription and um i would get a face wash the cream the moisturizer sometimes they'll give you like little pimple patches or whatever but for the most part it was it was actually like there was no there was nothing different in my skin my skin i still had a lot of pimples i had a lot of breakouts a lot of dark spots so um i did that all the way from the end of 2020 all the way up until like 2020 it has to have been 2022 because i ended my subscription like the year after i came home from texas state so yes from 2020 to 2022 like two years of me wasting my money i'm thinking like okay yeah like it's working the cream like they did it specifically for my skin blase blase no it just it wasn't doing it for me y'all and no shade no tea to them but i'm just saying but i mean it just wasn't given after that whole little timeline of me going through all these different products and stuff that's when i basically got to my breaking point if y'all follow me on instagram i think i posted it on my spam page so y'all probably didn't see it or i posted it on my close friends i basically just had a whole like meltdown y'all like i was getting so frustrated because I'm like, bro, I'm wasting all this money. Nothing is working. The pimples is still pimpling. I'm still clogged up under here. My face is getting greasy. It's summertime. I'm getting like these huge, fat, juicy bumps. Like the dark spots are getting worse. Everything was just caught. It was, it was crashing down, y'all. I'm so upset because nothing works for my skin. Like nothing. I could do facials. I can do this, I can do that. I can Nothing is working and it makes me angry. So, in order to fix the situation, like, I just gotta, I don't know, figure out something to do. I swear to God, I'm so for real because it's like, it's to a point where it's like, I'm tired of just putting all this 
new stuff on my face. I'm tired of people trying to tell me what they think is best. Like, I don't how we're going to get this issue solved. So there's a journey that um, medicine, Akitane, that's what it's called. And I've been researching it for a long time now, but, like, I never really got serious about it before because the side effects of it is crazy, like, super crazy i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna go to a doctor and see if they can fix me <laughs> so that's when i started to look up Accutane. that's the little pill you take and it basically you know clears up your acne or whatever however Accutane has a lot of side effects like a lot a lot of side effects and the more i researched the more i got scared but I was like, I'm re I'm really willing to take this risk because like I need my skin to just be skinny. Like I need to have pretty smooth skin. I don't want all these pimples, okay? So I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just gonna look more into Accutane and see what I can do. And I did not have no dermatologist or nothing like that. So I was just kind of scoping around. So I'm posting everything. I had a couple friends like speak to me, like text me like, oh my God, I was going through the same thing. People was recommending me to their dermatologist and everything. And um, that's when I was like, okay, you know what? Accutane is the way to go. So um, before we get into what will save my skin, I'm gonna show you guys a few um, before and after pictures of All right, y'all. So now let's talk about what got my skin. What got my skin bad? Right? We're getting it right. <laughs> so my work family is basically like my family family. Like we we lied in. So I'm telling them about how I just had a breakdown the night before. I'm like, y'all, like I'm having a break mental breakdown because my skin is not getting better. I'm wasting a lot of money. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm trying all these products. Nothing is helping me. Everybody advice is just like. I don't want to hear anything else I'm finna do I'm finna take the big risk and I'm finna get the pill so I'm telling them that and then my girl summer she was just like I see have you heard of acne center of Houston and I'm like no I've never heard of that and she was like oh my god y'all summer she's so cute but she's like she's so dramatic like she's literally just like me I, I know what you're thinking you're probably thinking like oh my gosh I'm gonna be like one of them other like you do all this stuff and it doesn't work out, like you just lose all hope. She's telling me like, no girl, like, I know how you feel, but just try this place out. And then if it doesn't work out, then you know, continue with the Accutane process. So I'm like, okay, let me just, you know, go try it out. It's right up the street, so it's not even that far. So I go online, I book my consultation. The consultation was like $50. I booked the consultation and um, I was low-key kind of excited, but like, I was just like, mm, like, I'm excited, yeah. But like, I don't know, like, I'm just not getting my hopes up because I've been going through this my whole life. I've been trying stuff, it fell in. Try it again, fell in. Like, this point, <laughs> anything goes at this point. I don't really care. I did the consultation and off bat, like, they were so sweet, so respectful, so nice, and just kind of like, oh my gosh, like, girl, I understand you. I had this lady up in there laughing at them draws. Oh my god, like, you're so funny. I love your person. I did that. I'm like, okay, cool, but what about this skin? She's like telling me about all this stuff that I had no clue about, like toothpaste we use, hair products we use, sunscreens, shampoos, lip balms, everything that we do that contributes to make your acne worse. So here I am thinking it's just me just having crunchy runchy skin and it's really the stuff that I use on a daily all these products that I'm putting in my face not giving my skin a chance to heal completely switching up the routine like almost every couple months like you know what I mean so it's like my skin never got a chance to just relax like I was just always planning it because I wanted something fast I wanted something quick so yeah after the consultation I was so like I was like you know what I'm gonna follow through with this treatment and I'm just finna go with the flow my consultation was July 26 and my first First treatment was August 4th 2022 the treatment was a hundred dollars but the first payment I had to pay 250 because I paid for the treatment and I also got the product on top of it so that was the only time I paid 250 yeah like the whole treatment process like I just felt like I was like I was very excited like the first day I went I'm gonna show y'all a picture this is me the first day I went I look rough stop it 
No, but that was the first time I went, y'all. I was taking pictures of my skin. I was geeked. I was excited. Like, she was telling me about how they do, like, the um, fruit enzyme mask. And they do, like, chemical pills. Like, and it works really good. Chemical pills is what, what got me to where I am now. So, yeah, that day, I started this process over the summertime. And I was working in summer camp, which means I was outside, like, for two hours every day of the of the summertime. She's like, uh, I don't know if we should do a chemical pill because, you know, you can't be in the sun. You can't really sweat and stuff like that so I'm like okay well maybe we should just try the little fruit stuff until it gets a little cooler outside or until summer camp is over I went in she cleansed my face she did extractions she'll put the chemical pill stuff on first and then she do the extractions and take a little needle and then she just the things hurt so bad and then after that she'll do like a little cooling gel and then I'll go under a blue light and then after that the process will be over with then she writes down my routine on a little green sticky note and then she gave it to me and then I'll go and then I'll come back every two weeks so that's what I was doing for almost like the first couple six months after my skin started to get a little bit better that's when I can you know go out for like three weeks four weeks and let me just show y'all the before and after like what my skin after I think that was my fourth month being there and y'all my skin was literally radiating like the pimp like the blackheads the scars the hyperpigmentation around the perimeter of my face everything was literally clearing up and I was so geek I finally found something that works for me so yes this whole process with acne Center of Houston has definitely boosted my confidence and no way shape or form is this a promo video this is just what helped me out there is a lot of stuff around the internet servicing for um helping you with skincare and all these different products and sometimes it do work for certain people for me i definitely have to go get like my skin looked at because i had a lot of buildup underneath my skin we needed to get all that out and then start the clearing process so and honestly like my skin y'all like i don't even know like it's just such a great confident booster like i can wear makeup now i don't have to worry about stuff looking all bumpy crunchy and munchy like i do get my breakouts every now and then especially like when i'm on my cycle and stuff like that i tend to get a lot of breakouts but for the most part it is like in the best condition ever and it's so like sustainable like she's strong like y'all i can put on makeup literally i won't get a bump like i won't get not a lick of a pimple like nothing's gonna pop up because my skin is just so like she just locked in like she just she really liked that for real i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much and remember that if you're somebody who's struggling with acne don't be ashamed okay whether you find something to treat it or if you don't it doesn't matter you're still beautiful no matter what and that's why i have to tell myself every day half of the time i'll be thinking everybody just looking at my bumps and they don't even be caring for real like you know what i mean um it's all a mental thing really yeah i basically i, I found the key to the streets y'all acne sitting in houston y'all get with it if y'all in houston i'm not sure if they have other places but in houston definitely check out acne center for houston uh yes once again i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching this video remember to always keep god first no matter what you do in this life yeah i'm not sure why this camera keep playing with me but like i was saying make sure you always keep god first before anything in your life and um i love you guys so much make sure you stay tuned for my next video also, if you care, but in the comments, let me know if y'all like longer videos, shorter videos, or just like you really don't care. You just be watching just to watch. I don't know. Y'all just let me know. But um, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.